good morning students good morning to all and last day we have studied about the green revolutions and the weakness of green revolutions and the achievements of green revolutions today just we will go to the next concept large scale industries large scale industries the term large scale industries refers to those industries which require huge infrastructure manpower and they have have a influx of a capital assets if we consider any of the industries as a large scale industries what are the features may be there there so if any of the industries are producing the huge level of the product and the huge infrastructure facilities and huge manpower is there so we will consider as a large scale industries and that large scale industries also will be in need of large capital assets so that term large scale industries is a generic one including various types of own industries so all the heavy industries of india like the iron and steel industries textile industries automobile manufacturing industries fall under the large scale industrial area so however in recent years due to the it boom and the huge amount of revenue generated by the it industries can also be included with the large scale industries so not only that so indian economy is heavily dependent on the large scale industries for its economic growth because most of the gross domestic product is going to end from the large scale industries only if there is no large scale industries or the less large scale industries we will never earning more growth or more gdp and the generation of foreign currencies and the for providing the job opportunities also will be able to by the large scale industries only so many of the people are going to the job in the large scale industries only so large scale industries can able to provide the many types of employment opportunity throughout the world so what are the large scale industries are there in our nations mean first iron and steel industry so iron and steel industries so first steel industries at kalti it was located in west bengal and the first large scale steel plant disco is located at jamshedpur in 1970 followed by isk the first public sector unit was viswaraja iron and steel works at badravadi so all these industries are managed by sail steel authority of india limited the steel authority of india limited was established in 1974 next jute industries jute industries also is one of the important industries for a country like india mostly in the developing countries because not only it earns foreign exchange but also provides the substantial employment opportunity in agricultural and industrial sectors so first the jute industries provided the raw materials for the other cotton and textile industries and those people who are involved in this agricultural sector that people also can have the possibilities to get the employment opportunity so its first modernized industrial unit was established in resha it was located in west bangladesh next cotton and the textile industries so the cotton and textile industries is one of the oldest industries of india and it employs largest number of workers because the cotton and textile industries also have to depending upon the agricultural sectors so the agricultural sector also will be improved on the basis of improvement of cotton and textiles industries and the 4 to 20 percentage of gdp is earning from the cotton and textile industries next is sugar industry so sugar industry is the second largest industries among agricultural based industries in india sugar industries 
also provide the employment opportunities for both agricultural sector and the industrial sector so india is now the largest producers and the consumer of sugar in the world so in our nations the maharashtra only contributes over one third of the indian total sugar output next fertilizer industry so india is the third largest producer of nitrogenous fertilizers next paper industries the first mechanized paper mill was set up in 1812 at serampur in west bengal and continuously the silk industries and the petroleum and natural gas industries also one of the large scale industries so there is no need to explaining more elaborately so it is one of the informations about the large scale industries only it is mentioned in our book also and uh, there is no need to studying about the large scale industries next is small scale industries so already we have studied in this industrial policies 1956 so how the large scale industries are very much important to improve the growth of economic like that the small scale industries also has been very much important to improving the growth of economic development around 20 to 30% of the gdp is also earning from the small scale industries only so the small scale industries plays an important role for the development of indian economy in many ways so about 60 to 70% of the total innovations in india comes from the small scale industries because most of the entrepreneurs will never get the chance to bring in the innovations when they are working in the large scale industries but so many of the talented entrepreneurs may be located or may be simply sit in our home without having the opportunity to bring in the innovations so the many of the entrepreneurs will have the opportunities only when they have started when they have possibilities to started the small scale industries only so many of the big businessmen today were all started small and then they nurtured into the big business so we know very well even today multi millionaires are started as a small scale entrepreneurs only even if you want to become as a famous persons that persons also might have as a simplicity so like that so if any of the industries want to become as a large scale industries it must started from the small scale industries only but in the same time if the governments did not give the <coughs> importance to the <coughs> importance to the small scale industries so we will never derive to the large scale industries also so the role of small scale industries in economic development of the country is briefly explained under the following headings first how the role of small scale industries in economic development <coughs> mean so the small scale economics small scale, sorry small scale industries provide many employment opportunities so small scale industries use labor intensive techniques only so because when they don't have the sufficient level of the capital assets it will be able to it will be able to making the labor intensive techniques only hence they provide employment opportunities to a large number of people so when we are comparing to the large scale industries the small scale industries only will providing the many employment opportunities for the low people and the agricultural based employment employees also thus they reduce the unemployment problem to a great extent suppose when the large scale industries are required the high talented people high educated people some of the people will never get the chance to getting the employment opportunities from the large scale industries but the small scale industries always will providing the employment opportunities for the poor and the most of the peoples the next the small scale industries provide employment to the artisans technically qualified persons and professionals peoples engaged in traditional arts 
people in villages and unorganized sectors so mostly those people are not having the employment and if they having the qualified and talented they will get the employment from the small scale industries the employment capital ratio is high for the small scale industries next it bring the balanced regional development how the small scale industries will bring the balanced regional development mean the small scale industries promote the decentralized development of industries as most of the small scale industries are set up in backward and rural areas <coughs> so when we wanted to when we want to start at the small scale industries it will never required the mean most of the common areas so all the small scale entrepreneurs will started their industries in the rural or the backward areas only so wherever the people are being unemployment and unliving standard of the people they will get the employment opportunity <coughs> next they remove the regional disparities by industrializing rural and backward areas and bring balanced regional development so when they started the industries even in the rural and the urbanized areas both of the people also will get the same type of employment opportunity and the same level of the salaries then how the living standard of the people in the urbanized areas people increase so like that the rural area people's living standard also will be increased so in this sense so the regional disparities also will be going to reduce next they help to reduce the problems of congestion slums sanitation and pollution in cities they are mostly found in outside cities limited so the small scale entrepreneurs always will be selected to start at the industries in the so far of the cities and the poorest areas so there is no need to making the problems of environment next they help in improving the standard of living of peoples residing in suburban and rural areas in india as we studied already so these people are also going to help to improving the rural areas because they will improve the they will providing the employment opportunity because of that their living standard of the peoples from the rural areas people also will be improved <coughs> next the entrepreneurial talents is tapped in different regions and the income is also distributed instead of being the concentrated in the hands of a few individuals or a few businessmen so now all the entrepreneurs also have the power to start at the or possibilities to start at the industries in where whenever they want to located so in this sense so the monopolies also will be removed and the concentrations the income concentrations also will be removed from our nations so how the entrepreneur of the large scale industries having the possibilities the same possibilities also holded by the small scale entrepreneurs also next help in mobilization of local resources helps in mobilization of local resources the small scale industries help to mobilize and utilize the local resources like small savings entrepreneurial talent etc so because all the people also have the savings in their rural areas bank and some of the talented people also will be in the rural areas but they will never get the opportunities to expose their talent but in this sense it will be able to help able to help in mobilization of local resources the human resources and the talented peoples and some of the raw materials also uh, cultivated by the poor farmers everything also will be utilized by the small scale industries so the mobilization of resources all type of the resources will be transferring from one place to another places next they pave the way for promoting traditional family skills and handicrafts there is a great demand for handicraft goods in the developed countries so what are the handicrafts art arts are selling to the developed countries it has produced by the 
small scale industries only in, from in our India. Not only that, the small scale industries help to improve the growth of local entrepreneurs and self-employment professionals in small towns and villages in India. So even if the peoples having the possibilities to start at the cottage industries or the small scale industries to produce any little bit of the items, they can have the specialized to produce that commodities. And most of the small scale enterprises are going to produce the commodities only used by their family members and the neighborhood peoples only. So the profit also will be distributed to the same people itself. Next, the small scale industries pay for the optimization of capital. The small scale industries require less capital per unit of output. They provide quick returns on investment due to shorter gestation period. The payback period is quite short in small scale industries. So when we are comparing to the large scale industries, the small scale industries also is required the small amount of capital. The small amount of capital also will be derived from the local areas, peoples or the local money lenders and the other financial facilities which has the specialist to providing the financial facilities for the small scale industries and they will also have the power to repay the fund. And the small scale industries function as a stabilizing force by providing high output capital ratio as well as high employment capital ratio. When they have the possibilities to make the high employment ratio, they can easily have the possibilities to make the high capital ratio also. Next, they encourage the people living in rural areas and small towns to mobilize savings and channelize them into the industrial activity. Some of the poor people also will have the money in the form of savings and if they have the in possibilities or the opportunity to start at the small scale industries, they can use that savings for the, for the making of or the uh, established the small scale industries. Next, the small scale industries can help to promote the exports. Now, we will never know about the exports. We will never know about the exports mean many or the 60 percentage of the or 40 percentage of the product is going to the export only is produced by the small scale industries. The small scale industries do not require the sophisticated machineries. Hence import the machines from abroad is not necessary. On the other hand, there is a great demand for goods produced by small scale industries. The product the entrepreneurs want to produce any of the commodities only is produced by the labor intensive techniques. So there is no need to purchasing any of the technicals or any of the machineries from the abroad. So many of the cost of productions will be going to reduce for the production of commodities. And not only that, in this way, if they are producing any of the commodities and at the same time, the demand for that commodity is higher in our, higher in another nation's means, so the exporters of the small scale industries will be increased. So thus they reduce the pressure on the country's balance of payments. However, with recent post large scale industries are able to borrow large funds with the low interest rate and spend large sum of advertisement hence small scale industries are gradually vanishing but one of the thing we have to note here the small scale industries the producers or the entrepreneurs of the small scale industries will never make the advertisement because of the low capital but if the commodities want to get the marketplace in our nations so the advertisement is very much important. But the large scale industries, the producer or the entrepreneurs of the large scale industries will doing that same only. They will spend more amount to expose or showing as through the advertisement. Next, complement large scale industries. 
small scale industries play a complementary role to large scale sectors and support the large scale industries also so what are the semi finished product is used by the large scale industries that semi finished product is produced by the small scale industries only so the large scale industries also have to depending upon the small scale industries even if the large scale industries able to produce that small scale industries able to produce that uh, semi finished product the small scale industries are produce, produced the semi finished product with the low cost by using the local resources so large scale industries always purchasing the raw materials and the semi finished product produced by the large scale small scale industries only next the small scale industries provide parts components accessories to the large scale industries and meet the requirement of the large scale industries so the large scale industries profit is also depending upon the productivity of the small scale industries only even though the small scale industries serve as a ancillary to the large scale units next the seventh point they meet the consumer demands the small scale industries also help to meet the consumer demands the small scale industries produce wide range of products required by the consumers in india so many of the product or uh, the demand of the product is produced by the small scale industries only hence they serve as a anti inflationary force by providing the goods of daily use so the demand for any commodities among the peoples are produced by the small scale industries and they also have the power to increasing the supply whenever the demand is arises in our nations or in our societies and because of that the small scale industries also helpful to reducing the inflationary forces because whenever the demand is going to increase or whenever the demand is arises among the societies at a particular time or within the short time the small scale industries can produce all the items next develop the entrepreneurship the small scale industries help to develop a class of entrepreneurs in the society they help the job seekers to become the job givers once if any of the entrepreneurs giving the employment opportunities to the another poor entrepreneurs or another poor employer they will have the opportunity to providing the another employment opportunity to the another persons so next they promote the self employment and the spirit of self reliance in the society one man if they getting the job opportunity and because of that if he improve their living standard and because of that he will get the self reliance in the society self reliance in the society mean what are the need is arised in the society that need is fulfilled by the same people itself next the small scale industries help to increase the per capita income of the india in various ways per capita income means so the uh, personal income of the india next they facilitate the development of backward areas and weaker sections of the societies wherever the weaker sections of the societies are there the small scale industries can able to improve in the way of providing the employment opportunities or providing the chance to the entrepreneurial shift next the small scale industries also adapt in distributing the national income in more efficient and equitable manner among the various participants of the society so what are the sources are going to distribute it is also possible by the small scale industries also next micro small and medium enterprises so the micro small and medium enterprises also taken the or taken the importance by the governments the small medium and micro level enterprises also classified as three types first micro manufacturing enterprises 
the micro manufacturing enterprises means the investment in plant and machinery does not exceed the 25 lakhs if any of the enterprises are going to start today within the 25 lakhs that is considered as a micro manufacturing enterprises next small manufacturing enterprises the pre enterprises the investment in plant and machinery is more than 25 lakhs rupees but that does not exceed the 5 crores if any of the enterprises are going to start today with the help of 25 lakhs within the 5 crores it is called a small manufacturing enterprises next the medium manufacturing enterprises the medium manufacturing enterprises is considered as a enterprises is going to start today with the help of 5 crores within the 5 to 10 crores it is considered as a medium manufacturing enterprises like that the service enterprises the micro service enterprises and small service industries and the medium service enterprises so some of the service enterprises are going to start today with the help of the limited capital amount it is considered as a service enterprises okay students so the micro small and medium enterprises is not very much important but the small scale industries the role of small scale industries in economic development is a important questions please study and if you have any doubt in that lessons just please ask me without any hesitations thank you